Alicia here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Much appreciated to all my Day Ones Foundation subscribers. Thank you. Love you. To all of my new subscribers, thank you. You know I love you. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Leos, you know the drill. This is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you, as there are a lot of you in the collective. So take what resonates with you and discard the rest. Do not try to force it to fit. It will only confuse you. Happy holidays to the collective if you celebrate them. Uh, if you don't, just uh, happy Friday. <laughs> it's Friday, right? Happy Friday. Okay, so I just want to thank you all for your good karma donations. For those of you that have been keeping me busy, well busy with your personal bookings, thank you. And for those of you that have been faithfully hitting me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave, thank you, thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate you. I appreciate the support. Uh, I am going to be putting a link uh, in the new year. This is just a, a sneak peek. I'm creating a group for uh, energies that are like high priestess, empresses, queen energies, you know yourself. And if you are drawn to the group, then if you don't know, now you know. So that link will be coming up. Um, it will be in the description box of my new videos in the new year. I am creating a Facebook group uh, in the 5D timeline. This is new earth shit, okay? If you resonate with it, you get it. If you don't, that's okay. It does. It's, it's good either way. Okay, so I just want to thank all of you and let you know that I, I'm, I am creating more. I'm here to serve, and, and I'm on my job. I'm on my job. So, Leos, this is a general energy check-in. Like I said, it's not going to resonate with all of you. Take what resonates with you and discard the rest. If this is not your reading altogether, that's cool. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. Like I said, all that information and more is located in my description box. So, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And I'm going to show you what we have so far. You have Six of Wands. This is a really, really good spread right now, Leos. I'm very happy to see this because you have the Fool. And you have Ten of Pentacles, baby. Ten of Pentacles. I like this. I like this a lot. Mm-hmm. Because your last couple of readings were like W T F F F. So this is great. We are going to pull some clarifying cards. Right off the bat, you have victory in something. Uh, you've worked hard for something, Leo. I, I see you here working with people. Uh, it's like you're gathering around the right people or attracting the right people into your life that are helping you get things done. This is after the battle, the sweeter the victory. That's what this is. You went through a lot of things, okay? And you can really stand proud and brush your damn shoulders off for what you've gone through and where you are now. You made it. You made it. Spare, so please clarify Six of Wands. This is, I, I feel like you, you wished on a star, and then you got to work, okay? This also looks like you're taking a leap of faith and you're starting something new with somebody. This could be starting a renewal. I'm hearing a renewed vow. Someone's renewing their vows in a relationship. Someone is, um, you're getting into a relationship with someone. They could already have kids. You're creating a blended family with someone. Or you are really solid and stable in your relationship now. And you're taking a, a leap of faith in creating that happy home, happy family. I'm hearing happy wife, happy life. Okay. If, if I may interject, it's happy, <laughs> happy husband, happy wife, happy life. Everybody, all parties need to be happy. The children need to be happy, right? Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify six of wands. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know what, Leo? I feel like you, you're you looking at the facts of something. Like, it's like you don't, wow, look at you showing up. Woo! Woo! Showing up in your power, okay? Step out to na me. <laughs> okay? <laughs> this is what this is to me. I am here. Bitch, I'm here. Yes, uh, Leo, yes. Okay, I see you, boo-boo. I see you. Hmm. Looking so fresh and so clean. Leo, 
you don't know how you know something, you just know it, okay? Uh, you are looking at the facts of something with someone uh, that you can take a leap of faith, that you can, you can trust this process with somebody. I feel like you have learned how to trust the processes of the universe as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not questioning something with somebody that you're supposed to be with someone or this is the right person for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Leo's, some of you, you've, some of you didn't know why you took a leap of faith with someone. Some of you don't know why someone is with you because you weren't very nice to them. Mm -hmm. Or someone doesn't know why you're with them because they weren't being very nice to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Leo, someone doesn't know why you love them. <laughs> or you don't know why someone loves you. Mm hmm why someone wants a relationship with you, a family with you. Wow, Spirit, please clarify Ten of Pentacles. Please clarify Ten of Pentacles. It looks like somebody is trying to make up. Okay, there it is. There it is. So someone is being divinely guided to go and either apologize to someone or make amends with somebody because they are your person. Okay, and this just fell out of the deck. Fell out of the deck, okay? Now, remember earlier when I said you don't know something, you just know it? It's your intuition, honey. Okay? Now, you may not be seeing the bigger picture of something with someone, Leo, or someone's not seeing the bigger picture with you, but they know deep down inside that they either have to make amends with you because you're supposed to be together, or this is just, um, for those of you in this collective where you have an ex that you have children with and things just were not right with them, they are being divinely guided to go on a, to come and apologize to your ass, Okay. Yes, they are. And they don't know why. And they don't see that there's a there's a bigger picture to something. They're not seeing something, but they are being divinely guided to come towards you and make peace. Mm -hmm. And for some of you, this is just for the well-being of the kids. To have that environment that set a, a better example, set a better example, I'm hearing. So if you are in a situation where you have an ex where you don't fuck with them on no level because of whatever the fuck, this type of energy, uh, emotionally manipulative, mean, I want to even say bitchy, uh, this is not nice and I live up to my name, okay? Uh, not supportive, not nurturing, just just mean, mean person, okay? Not a very caring person at all, not a very loving person at all, okay? Uh, Spirit wants someone to make up with somebody, make amends, repair a bridge. Because someone did not recognize someone's worth. Someone did not recognize that someone was a full emperor or empress. They didn't see it then. Mm -hmm. They didn't. Okay. Spirit wants somebody to make, Leo, someone is being told to go and apologize to you or make peace with you. Because they didn't see who you were before. They didn't see your worth before. But it doesn't even matter now. Spirit is telling them to make peace with you. And I feel like someone is coming. But they don't even know why they're being pulled or pushed to come towards you. I'm hearing a new cycle of peace. A new cycle of peace and a higher example. <laughs> this is 5D living. This is higher consciousness. Someone is really confused here as well. 
they don't know why and and there's a is it a stubbornness someone doesn't know why they were so mean to you leo they don't they have no clue but I, this goes deeper than you. You could have gotten with someone when they, before they had healed, before whatever the fuck they went through. And you got with them and they just took it all out on you. And they did not treat you very nice at all. So, <laughs> someone was a piece of shit to you, Leo. Mm -hmm. And for some of my Leos in this collective, I'm not coming for you. I just talk the truth, okay? On this channel, I talk the truth because I don't want no smoke from the universe. So, you know, I did a reading for Taurus and some of the comments I was like, whoa, like, whoa. I'm not going to butter things up for anyone or, or sugarcoat shit because you're sensitive. We're all sensitive. I'm an empath. I was born sensitive. But it's open heart, thick skin. On this planet, you better learn, okay? And the sooner the better to have some thick fucking skin because not everybody's like you and not everyone's going to say shit that you want to hear. Sometimes you're going to hear the truth and on this channel, I will tell you the truth. It's out of love though. Trust and believe it's out of love because like I said, I don't want any smoke from the universe. I'm not going to tell people shit or lead them astray or say things to hurt their feelings. What the fuck am I doing that for? I don't need to do that. It's all love here, 100%. Now, my delivery, I'm a Scorpio. I don't have time to butter shit up. I am very get to the point so we can move on. I'm very much like that. I am learning how to maybe um, <laughs> say things in a more healing way. But if you resonate with my energy, then you get it, okay? It's all love here. So, Leo... Either you or someone is being called to make up with someone, and you don't even know why. You don't know why. Spirit, can I get some more on this? Why Why do you want this reconciliation? Why is someone being pushed towards this reconciliation? Mm -hmm. Why is someone being pushed towards this reconciliation? But there is someone in this collective you are going to, your intuition is telling you to make up with someone. Mm -hmm. Now you could not be speaking to someone right now, or there was a breakup or a, a fallout. Spirit, can I get some more messages? Can I get some more messages? Because this person is your person. Some of you, there was a breakup because there was a third party. There was a feminine energy that was talking to two masculine energies. One is an air sign and one was you, Leo. Mm -hmm. And this energy doesn't even know why they did it. They don't, e they don't even know why. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. I'm getting different stories here. Getting different stories. Look at this. Door to romance in reverse. Ooh, okay, okay. Spirit, please clarify. Do it to romance in reverse. Look at this. Remember when I said this is about you? Um, Six of Wands. Victory. 33 is manifesting, but it's like uh, something was supposed to be manifested here. A relationship was supposed to be manifested, and it was halted, it halted, blocked. Spirit, please clarify. Do it to romance in reverse. Someone broke up with someone because they weren't happy. They weren't feeling, they didn't feel satisfied in the relationship. They weren't being fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Now, someone was dead ass dealing with a water sign Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone walked away from a relationship because their cups weren't being filled, their needs weren't being met. Mm hmm. Their, the love wasn't there. And I remember earlier I said someone was just fucking mean. And they didn't even know why they were being so mean to somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't even know why. Someone could have looked at you as uh, being too different. This was could have been a situation where opposites attract. Mm -hmm. And then... Most situations, opposites attract. 
but there can be a time when it's opposites repel each other. Like if you're not in alignment with someone or your vibration doesn't match, you begin to repel each other. And this is, it looks like this is what happened in this situation. Something wasn't changing. And, and because of that, there was a separation. I also feel like someone, someone knows that they look good. They know that they can pull people. They're very attractive or very charming. Mm -hmm. And that's what they were going around doing. And they didn't even know why they were going around being for the streets or talking to other people. Someone liked attention. I'm hearing attention whore. And they didn't even know why they liked attention. Spirit, can I get one more? Spirit, can I get one more? I'm hearing it's time for them to apologize. Yes. Someone walked away from a relationship with someone because they weren't investing. Mm -hmm. They weren't putting in what they should have been putting in. Their time, energy, effort, love, mm -hmm. value. Someone was not showing up for a relationship the way they were supposed to. If you had a child or children with this person, they weren't even doing those things. They weren't being a responsible, reliable adult, a parent. None of it. So somebody walked away. <laughs> wow. I just heard, fuck that. I can do better by myself. And that's exactly what someone did. And now it looks like someone is being... <sighs> Someone's intuition is telling them to come and make amends with you, Leo. Or you're being told to make amends. Put the energy where it goes. Spur, you have any more messages? Any more messages for the Leo Collective? Someone was also being taken advantage of and taken for granted. Any more messages, Spirit? Any more messages? Leo, did you fall out of love with someone? Yeah. Did you fall out of love with someone? guided on a new path mm -hmm. some of you you're supposed to be with somebody else so spirits like okay done this close this door let this go mm -hmm. there's something some of you you were guided on a more spiritual path this person was a catalyst for you to wake the fuck up <laughs> okay and i say that with the most love okay i got these ones too when spirit does those redirects yes mm -hmm. those redirects Okay, this is not for you anymore. We got something else for you. And look at this. 12. 1 plus 2 is 3. Look at this. Door to romance. 3-3. Three, three. So something that you were trying to manifest got halted because it wasn't for you anymore. Mm -hmm. And you were set on a new course. A higher course. Mm -hmm. A course that's going to... Spirit, please clarify the, the temple path. I feel like you. this was a catalyst for your uh, spiritual awakening, your ascension process. Someone could have snapped your ass out of this la-la land, being unconscious, sleeping, not recognizing what's really going on around you. Because someone was, they were manifesting. And this is someone who's, a, they know, they're familiar with the law of attraction. But they didn't know really how to use it. <sighs> Spirit, please clarify the temple path. It's like being really powerful, but not really knowing how to use your power yet. You know, you ever watch like X-Men, those super, I have a 10 year old son, <laughs> those superhero movies and the new, the new superheroes that are still learning how to use their, their power, use their energy, harness their energy. So it's kind of, it, they're doing a whole bunch of stuff and not really getting the results that they want or not getting the right results. This is what someone was doing. Someone is a very powerful manifester, but the things that they were manifesting wasn't serving them mm -hmm. because someone was going around. Um, it's like they wanted love. They were attracting love, but they were a little bit for this person, a little bit for that person. And then I want to be with Leo too. And it was like, nah, you need to fix up. You need to focus your energy and figure out what you really want. Do you want to have a family or do you want to be for the streets? You can't have both. You can have them, just not both. Mm-hmm. 
And something wasn't changing with someone because they weren't using their power the right way. They didn't know how to use it or they didn't want to use it or they didn't really understand it. So something was closed off. And, and I, I just feel like, you know what I'm seeing in my third eye? A gavel. So Spirit was like, okay, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> okay, now enough of this. Close this door. There's still something else for you to do. There's more for you to do. Spirit, please clarify the temple path. There's something higher for you to do. Yeah. You were being guided. You were being guided, but you weren't listening to your guidance. Uh, the thing is, you knew that you were for, there was something better for you. Mm -hmm. Now, whether that be in life or that be in a relationship, you, you saw that there was something better for you. And as much as you did not want, you didn't want to let something go with someone. If you have a child or children with someone, you did love this person. You did. You thought that you would be able to have it all. You took a leap of faith with someone because you love them. But spirit was like, you need to take a leap of faith and love yourself. Mm -hmm. And so for some of you, you didn't even know why you kept going this, doing the same thing and repeating a cycle with someone. Because you were, you were on the path, but you were on the wrong path. Okay? There was something higher for you to do. There was something else for you to do. Spirit, can I get one more for the temple path? Some of you, this was dead ass, legit, uh... A catalyst for you to start your spiritual journey someone dealt with you so disgusting that you had no choice but to just cut them off and focus on what you need to focus on for yourself mm -hmm. oh yes like didn't I say that someone was a catalyst for you to focus on what the fuck you need to focus on for you okay doing what's right for you Someone set your ass straight, and it's because they dealt with you so shitty. Wow. Like I said, there, there was an element. I was picking up this energy of someone like, I don't even know why, why I want to be with you or why I'm with you still. Or, mm -hmm. Wow. Leo, Leo, Leo. Put the energy where it goes. Spirit, can I get one last card of guidance and advice for the Leo Collective? One last card of guidance and advice. Wow, this is not even what... You know what? I'm going to do this here. Spirit, what is coming towards Leo? Wow. Okay, so I'm being told to take this over into an extended. If you want to know what is coming towards you, join me over in the extended. I'm just going to like... Spirit said to cut this here, okay? So... I'm going to pull guidance and advice in the extended. I'm going to pull what is coming towards you. And any other tea Spirit wants to spill on the table for you, Leo, this Christmas Eve. Okay? So, if this is where I bid you adieu, thank you so much for checking out the vid. I appreciate you. And for those of you that are interested in further details, okay, on what's coming towards you, Join me over in the extended. The link will be in the description box. I will see you soon. Bye.